Hi everyone! Today I'm going to introduce to you seven basic yoga poses for beginners. The first one is called Mountain Pose Tadasana, the mother of all yoga poses. This is a foundation for many other yoga positions that requires awareness and balance. Stand with your feet together at the top of your mat. Ground your feet, making sure to press all four corners down into the ground. Next, straighten your legs, then tuck your tailbone under as you engage your thigh muscles. As you inhale, elongate through your torso and extend your arms up, then out. Exhale and release your shoulder blades away from your head towards the back of your waist as you release your arms back to your sides. The next pose we're going to do is Child's Pose Balasana. Consider this exercise your reset moment. Simple in design, this easy pose relaxes your nervous system and is a great place to take a breath during class if you need one. Start in a kneeling position with toes tucked under. Big toes can be touching. Bring your knees wide. Lower your butt towards your feet as you stretch your upper body forward and down with arms extended, spreading your fingers on the mat. Your stomach should be comfortably resting on your thighs with your forehead touching the mat. Next, we're gonna move on to cat and cow pose. This is a great way to warm up your back, your spine, shoulders, and wrist. It's a great preparatory pose for your downward dog. Begin with your hands and knees on the floor, spine neutral and abs engaged. Take a big inhale, then as you exhale, round your spine up towards the ceiling and tuck your chin towards your chest, releasing your neck. On the next inhale, arch your back and then relax your abs. Lift your head and tailbone upwards, being careful not to place any pressure on your neck by moving too quickly or too deep. Next, moving on to Downward Facing Dog. This is one of the most recognizable poses of the bunch. In Downward Dog, we're stretching the back, shoulders, arms, and hamstrings. Legs are going to be hip distance apart, wrapping your inner thighs together. Arms shoulder width apart, wrapping your triceps together as you spread your fingers on the mat. Pressing your hips up, heels down, trying to find a nice long straight spine. If your hamstrings are tight, come up onto your tiptoes and keep a slight bend in your knees, drawing your chest towards your thigh. Just letting your head drop to try to relax your neck. Next, moving on to warrior one. From your downward dog, you're going to step your right leg between your hands. You're going to lower your left heel down. Inhale, sweeping your arms up towards the sky, trying to keep your hips square. So you want to draw that right sit bone back, left sit bone forward squeezing your inner thighs towards the midline, reaching up. Bringing your palms together if it's available. If this is hard, you can keep your arms shoulder width apart instead. This is the first in the warrior series. This pose strengthens your legs and opens your hips and chest while also stretching your arms and legs. While holding this exercise, you'll see an increase in your concentration and balance. Next, moving on to warrior two, simply open up to the long side of your mat. It's very similar to warrior one. You're gonna bend into that front leg, knee are gonna stay over your ankle, tuck your tailbone under, back foot slightly pivots towards your front foot. So the back foot can either be facing the long side of your mat or 45 degrees towards the front foot. Lastly, I would like to introduce corpse pose Shavasana. This is one of the meditative moments in your yoga practice. Corpse pose helps to calm the mind, relieve stress, and induces a relaxed state. You wanna lay down on your back, bring your legs a little bit wider than your hips, arms a little bit wider than your shoulders, palms facing up, eyes closed, just trying to relax your entire body, including your face and your jaw. When it's time to wake up again, your instructor will tell you to slowly bring your awareness back to your breath, back into your body and then slowly coming into a seated position again. If you're ready to start your yoga journey with me, please check out some of my beginner-friendly yoga classes on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope to see you guys soon. Namaste.